this is Susan Phelan with Utah Book Scene. I have J. Scott Savage with me today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Now, even though you write as J. Scott <laughs> Savage with your children's national books, you go by Jeff or Jeffrey. I do. I, I go by Jeff. I, uh, there's actually a Jeff Savage who's written about 100 kids sports books. So when I jumped into the writing career, that name was taken. So, uh, so you are not him. You I'm, are not I him. am not him. I've, I've had his bio read before. But for me at conferences, but I am not Jeff Savage, the okay. author. <laughs> you are J. Scott Savage, the author. Although you write as Jeffrey S. Savage as well That's for right. your adult um, adult LDS. Yeah, kind of yeah. Pri primarily either either straight LDS or adult audience. So this is a horror novel that's not specifically LDS, but I wanted to separate it from my national children's books. Okay. So Jeffrey S. Savage is either straight LDS books or adult. J. Scott Savage is kids, national, that kind of thing. All right, great. I think the cover of this one is so fun. <laughs> Case File 13, Zombie Kid. Could you tell me about, this is a series, but it's not, not each one is about zombies. That's right, yes, yes. It's, it's what's called an open-ended series, meaning that hopefully it'll be a lot of books. That was the idea. Uh -huh. It's from HarperCollins. And um, I wrote this, really, if, if there was a book that was autobiographical with me as a kid, not that I was ever a zombie, but, <laughs> you know, just the sense of humor. that You've got these boys who love monsters. Halloween's their favorite holiday one of them gets turned into a zombie and they think that's just the coolest thing ever until he starts to smell bad he wants to eat his best friend's brains his little finger falls off in the mashed potatoes at dinner oh. and that's where the adventure kind of now how do we change him back which is not as easy as they expect so the series is these three boys eventually three girls a bully we kind of expand the world but it's all about kids who love monsters. And how old are the kids? Um, these kids are in fifth grade. So fifth this grade. would be targeted at typically like third grade, fourth grade, younger middle grade. Mm -hmm. Not not early reader, but kids who are kind of just getting into chapter books. Okay. So a really fun romp yes. for someone who's who's made the jump from the early reader to to a regular novel. Exactly. They just exactly. sound like so much fun. And I, so many kids are just excited to death oh, by yeah. monsters. <laughs> Absolutely. It really is. It's fun. And, and kids at that age, I mean, you write a little, you don't write down to them, but you write you know, keep it exciting, keep it moving, you know, there's no slow moments, you know, there's scary stuff, there's funny stuff, but it never goes quite across the edge. The scary uh -huh. isn't as scary as you might do in, say, a, an older middle grade or a young adult. Lots of humor. Um, but I tried to write books that kids that age would love, but that their parents would enjoy reading them. And it's really gratifying when parents, you know, say, I just read this with my son and he wants to read it again and we just laughed out loud reading it. What about now, you say lots of humor, is that potty humor too or? Really, it, it was interesting. This was a funny thing and I'm glad you asked that. When I wrote this series, I, I went back and I read a lot of, especially boys middle grade, and mm -hmm. what you get is a lot of potty humor. And so I started out with all the fart jokes and everything else like that. And my editor came back and he said, you know, I know that boys love that. I've got nephews, and, and, and we've got plenty of books like that. I didn't understand exactly what he meant at the time, but he said, your series is smarter than a lot of the younger middle grade that we publish, and I don't want to turn off what they call the gatekeepers, so librarians, okay. teachers, parents, that kind of thing. And so he went back and actually had me pull a lot of stuff out of it, um, which I was fine with. I mean, I love my editor. He's incredible. But then when this came out, it got reviews that books like this don't normally get. It got a starred Kirkus review, which is very rare. Yes. They, they, don't get, they get very few starred reviews, and when they do, it's not to genre kids fiction. You know, uh -huh. it's, it's to more issue-driven books. And so um, they came right back out and said the exact same thing. And as we got, we ended up being an Amazon Book of the Month and uh, a Barnes & Noble select book. and, and a lot of really great reviews, a junior library guild selection, mm -hmm. and I was really grateful at that point that he had made me pull some of that stuff out, almost kind of not going for the cheap laugh, you mm -hmm. know, that, that you're, you're actually writing. In my mind, it's like if you go watch a Pixar, Pixar movie like Toy Story or Finding Nemo, it's a story that little kids are going to love, 
but that parents can watch over and over without getting sick of it. And, and that's, that is what I was trying to go for. Oh. <laughs> I, you know, we're, we are already uh, running out of time, which is so <laughs> sad. Your Far World series, yeah. is, this, is, this has really done a lot, this, hasn't this? That's, yes, yeah, yep. It, it was, it's done by Shadow Mountain, who are the same group that did Fable Haven, Love and Thumps, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Um, and what I was looking for here is older middle grade into young adult, really expansive. I, I mean, not, a, not epic fantasy, but epic fantasy on a middle grade level. Okay. Um, and it's it's a boy in a wheelchair on Earth, a girl in a world filled with magic who has no magic. And and if there were a theme to the book, it's that your differences make you strong. You know, and and it's been a great series. I've just gotten some really incredible feedback on it. And uh, any any news for. Um Movie pictures? Oh, well, that's, <laughs> I'm still waiting to hear on that. You it? never know. You yeah. never know. We will have a good, in fact, by the time this comes out, there should be a book trailer for it that was filmed by an incredible group. I mean, not your typical book trailer. They uh -huh. had, you know, I mean, booms and, and uh, cranes. I think and, I might know, you know exactly yeah. who those people are. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm excited to have that. That's so wonderful. it's kind of a movie. <laughs> so we can find you for kids, middle grade in particular. Yes. Yep. We can find you in the adult section. You've got thrillers. Yep. You've got a horror, a clean LDS horror. Yep, yep. Which is, uh, it sounds like an actual <laughs> yeah. one. You've got a mystery series that's supposed to be really funny. I haven't oh, even you. had a chance to look at that one yet. It was Chandra, Chandra Covington. Chandra Covington. Yep. Very, very yep. funny and yep. mystery. You're all over the place and doing some fantastic things, and we're so happy to have you Thanks talk for to us me. today. Thank Absolutely. you, Jeff. Absolutely. You're welcome. This is Susan Phelan. I've been talking to Jay Scott Savage, and uh, He's um, helping us here on Utah Book Scene. I really appreciate it. What are you reading?